This is the reality that a lot of governors around the country are facing, and you're going to layer on top of that a uh, health care boondoggle, an experiment that no one can tell you what it's actually going to cost. D David. We're now hearing that it's always oh, going to be a little bit more than we thought it was going right. to be. D People David, let me, uh, what's going let me on focus here. on it, because I think you've asked an excellent question. Will the campaigns of 2010 be heavily focused on health care? You will have the Republican Party campaigning to repeal this historic health bill that will pass. You'll have me and my team out promoting it. I want to have that campaign. I want to face a Republican Party chair and leadership that says, no, we need to go back and let insurance companies kick people off who are sick. I want them to go explain uh, why 47 million Americans are uninsured and why the costs will continue to escalate to break right. the bank of middle income families and businesses. All right, I want to let them defend that status quo. Let we'll me leave health we'll there for progress. Democratic politicians, we the people implore you to run that campaign. If you do, you will lose, and lose big. In 2008, we gave you power. In the House, in the Senate, even the Oval Office, we voted for hope. We voted for change. We voted for stronger families and brighter futures. We voted for bringing our troops home, a strong dollar and a safer America. We trusted you. We elected you. We regret it. Government takeovers. Bailouts. 10% unemployment. If that is even the real number. Troop escalations higher taxes. You pass 9,000 page bills. Without reading a word. You write legislation that says buy health care or go to jail. All steps taken directly from the Communist Manifesto. Step taken to control the people. The people warned you. You didn't listen. Now in 2010 you will hear us. You did listen in the town halls. Perhaps. You will listen in the unemployment lines. Yes run this campaign. Perhaps then the gap between government and the people can be closed. Perhaps when you are left at. Booed. The people turn their backs on you, as you have them, as your last act of Congress, save one person some money, meaning you, do not run for re-election on in platform, you just don't get that the people are sick of government all the way around, you just don't get that it is open season on incumbents, you just don't get that in 10, we will be voting on your history of lies, not your new ones. Unless you are for the people, and your record reflects this, we the people are coming after you.